Imagine a universe where space and time are no longer fixed, where gravity isn't just a force, but the very fabric of reality bending and warping around you. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, this is our universe, and it's all thanks to one of the most groundbreaking ideas in human history, Einstein's general theory of relativity. Over the next few minutes, we're going to unravel this theory in a way that will leave you marveling at the cosmos and, hopefully, feeling a little closer to understanding how the universe truly works. Albert Einstein didn't just change science. He changed how we think about reality itself. In 1915, his general theory of relativity introduced the world to a completely new understanding of gravity, space, and time, forever altering our picture of the universe. But why was this theory so revolutionary? And what exactly does it mean that space and time are curved? In this video, we'll take you step by step through the key ideas of general relativity, why it was necessary, how it explains gravity, what it predicts, and how we've seen those predictions come true. From black holes to bending light and expanding universes, let's dive in. To understand why general relativity was such a game changer, we first have to look at what came before it. For centuries, our understanding of gravity was based on the ideas of Isaac Newton. In Newton's world, gravity was a force that acted at a distance, pulling the planets toward the sun and keeping our feet on the ground. Newton's equations, while highly successful, had a few problems. One big issue was that they treated gravity as a force that acted instantaneously across space. But this didn't sit well with Einstein, especially after he formulated his special theory of relativity in 1905, which said that nothing, nothing can travel faster than light. And so Einstein set out to rethink gravity, and what he found was more mind-blowing than anyone could have imagined. Here's the revolutionary idea. Gravity isn't a force at all. It's the warping of the fabric of space-time itself. Okay, but what does that mean? Think of space-time as a giant, flexible sheet. When you place something heavy like a planet or a star on this sheet, it creates a dent, a curve. Objects moving through space, like planets orbiting the sun, are being pulled by some mysterious force. They're simply moving along the curves created by massive objects in space-time. So, in Einstein's world, objects like the Earth aren't being pulled toward the Sun. Instead, the Sun's mass creates a curvature in space-time, and the Earth is following the path of least resistance, like a marble rolling around a funnel. The Earth's orbit is just the result of space-time being bent. This is what general relativity describes, and it's a radical departure from the old Newtonian idea of gravity as a pulling force. Now, to truly grasp general relativity, we need to get comfortable with the idea of space-time. Instead of thinking of space and time as separate things, like space is the stage where objects move in time as the ticking clock, Einstein taught us that space and time are part of the same fabric. When you move through space, you're also moving through time. This combination of space and time into a single continuum is what we call space-time. A massive object like the sun curves this four-dimensional space-time around it. The stronger the gravity, the more space-time is warped. This means that objects, even light, follow curved paths in space-time when they pass near a massive object. One of Einstein's key ideas was something called the equivalence principle. This principle is one of the cornerstones of general relativity, and it says that the effects of gravity are indistinguishable from acceleration. Let's imagine you're in an elevator. Suddenly, the elevator starts accelerating upwards. You feel pushed down to the floor, right? Now, imagine you're standing on Earth, feeling the pull of gravity. Here's the weird part. You can't tell the difference between the feeling of being pushed against the elevator floor and standing still on the surface of the Earth. That's because gravity and acceleration are, in a sense, the same thing. And this equivalence gave Einstein the clue that led him to think of gravity as the curvature of space-time. So, how does all of this work in the language of mathematics? Einstein's theory is captured by a set of complex mathematical expressions known as the Einstein field equations. Now, we're not going to dive into the actual math here because, trust me, it's intense. But here's the idea in simple terms. The Einstein field equations describe how the mass and energy of objects influence the curvature of space-time and how that curvature, in turn, dictates the motion of objects. 
In other words, the equations link the geometry of space-time to the distribution of mass and energy in the universe. The more mass you have, the more space-time bends around you, and the stronger the gravitational effects become. Once Einstein worked out his theory, it started to make some wild predictions about the universe. And many of these predictions have been confirmed by experiments. Let's start with one of the most famous early confirmations, the orbit of Mercury. For a long time, scientists noticed something strange about Mercury's orbit. It wasn't behaving exactly as Newton's laws predicted. It wobbled a bit, and no one could quite explain why. But when Einstein applied his new theory of general relativity, it explained this wobble perfectly. Why? Because Mercury is so close to the Sun that it feels the warping of space-time more strongly than other planets. Einstein's equations accounted for that, and suddenly, the mystery was solved. One of the coolest predictions of general relativity is gravitational lensing. According to Einstein, massive objects bend space-time, and because light travels through space-time, it gets bent too. This means that light from distant stars can be curved around massive objects like galaxies, creating a kind of cosmic magnifying glass. This effect has been observed many times. In fact, gravitational lensing helps us study galaxies that are billions of light years away. And it's one of the ways we've been able to map dark matter in the universe. Because dark matter doesn't emit light, but its gravitational effects can still bend light. General relativity doesn't just bend space. It bends time, too. Here's where things get really strange. Time actually moves more slowly in stronger gravitational fields. This is called gravitational time dilation. For example, if you were standing near the surface of a massive object like a black hole, time for you would slow down compared to someone far away. This has been confirmed with atomic clocks on Earth. Clocks at higher altitudes, where gravity is weaker, tick slightly faster than clocks at lower altitudes where gravity is stronger. Believe it or not, this effect is so real that we have to take it into account for things like GPS systems. The satellites are farther from Earth and experience less gravity, so their clocks run faster. Without correcting for this time dilation, GPS positioning would be off by several kilometers within just a few hours. And now we arrive at perhaps the most dramatic prediction of general relativity, black holes. Black holes are regions of space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. They form when massive stars collapse under their own gravity, warping space-time to the point of no return, creating what we call the event horizon. What happens inside a black hole? Well, according to the theory, at the center of a black hole lies a singularity, a point of infinite density where our understanding of physics completely breaks down. While black holes were once considered purely theoretical, we now have overwhelming evidence of their existence. And in 2019, the Event Horizon Telescope captured the first ever image of a black hole shadow, showing us the eerie silhouette of this cosmic monster for the first time. But general relativity didn't just change how we think about individual objects, it changed how we think about the entire universe. One of the consequences of general relativity is that the universe isn't static. It's either expanding or contracting. In the 1920s, astronomer Edwin Hubble discovered that galaxies are moving away from us, confirming that the universe is indeed expanding. This discovery laid the groundwork for the Big Bang Theory, which describes the origin of the universe as a hot, dense state that's been expanding for billions of years. And here's where it gets even more interesting. Observations in the late 20th century revealed that the universe isn't just expanding, it's accelerating. Something mysterious, known as dark energy, is driving this accelerated expansion, and it's one of the greatest puzzles in modern cosmology. Ironically, Einstein himself introduced a term called the cosmological constant to allow for a static universe, only to later discard it. Today, that very idea has returned in the form of dark energy showing us just how much we still have to learn. One of the most exciting recent confirmations of general relativity came in 2015 with the discovery of gravitational waves. Gravitational waves are ripples in space-time created by massive objects like colliding black holes. When two black holes merge, 
They send out waves that ripple across the universe, like throwing a stone into a pond. These waves stretch and squeeze space-time as they pass through. And after decades of searching, we finally detected them using the LIGO Observatory. This discovery not only confirmed another of Einstein's predictions, but also opened a new way of observing the universe. Gravitational waves allow us to study events that don't emit light, giving us a completely new set of eyes on the cosmos. So, what does all of this mean? General relativity has fundamentally changed how we see the universe. It gave us a new understanding of gravity, predicted the existence of black holes, gravitational waves, and an expanding universe. And all of these predictions have been confirmed by observations. But despite its successes, general relativity is not the end of the story. There are still questions we don't have answers to. How do we reconcile general relativity with quantum mechanics, the physics of the very small? What is dark energy and what's driving the expansion of the universe? Einstein's theory has shown us the power of human curiosity and imagination. And while it's taken us a long way, the journey is far from over. The mysteries of the universe are still out there, waiting to be unraveled. If you enjoyed this dive into the mind-bending world of Einstein's general theory of relativity, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more deep dives into the mysteries of the universe. Let's keep exploring, and who knows what we'll discover next.